What's it up, baby? It's Big Boss. K Po through the door here to talk this boxer. Today, we're addressing the Bud Buddies, the Coke Buddies, all the buddies. We, we're addressing them. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. I don't run from no smoke. You know what I mean? Uh, I drop content almost every day. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a beautiful thing, man. We here to talk boxing. We here to have a healthy relationship in boxing. You know what I mean? And, and be able to build a good following and, and just grow together. You know what I'm saying? Whether you support the channel or you don't, everybody welcome. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We don't run from nothing. So, today we're here to talk about these bud buddies, these coke buddies, all these buddies. You feel me? So, look. I dropped a video a while back, I think like a couple days ago, last week, called The Disrespect of L Spence. I got two episodes on there. Uh, y'all go check that out if you haven't. Okay, I'm gonna drop another one real soon. I've just been busy. I'll let y'all know. But, um, so a bud buddy commented on it and said, how is L Spence disrespected when everybody's disrespecting Bud Crawford? So I said, how? Drop names. He responded with, Derek James said that Bud Crawford don't have a good resume. And I and, and I, I, I ain't read the rest. I said, bro, that's boxing talk. That's boxing talk. That's equivalent to me saying, man, uh, what's that rookie from the Rockets? Oh, he ain't a rookie no more. Gerald Green and the Rockets suck. If they play a good team, they ain't going to win. That's basketball talk. That's not personal. You know what I mean? That's not personal. And I'm not saying I feel that way. I'm just saying that that's boxing talk. You know what I mean? I mean, that's basketball talk. That's in the sport. That's nothing personal. So I responded with, that's Cap. I said, Bud Crawford and his team has made everything personal. And I brought up how Bud was in the Lake Ocean River, wherever he was at. He called El Spitz a hoe. He said, where your hoe ass at? Bernie then called El Spitz out his name multiple times on multiple occasions. Bo Mac then brought up the accident and all type of shit. You know what I mean? Bud then been in interviews with people and people then said personal shit about Errol and Bud ain't stopped the Bud laughing, which means Bud is in agreement with what they, what they saying. Personal shit. They ain't kept it boxing. They went, they got to go on the personal shit. You know what I mean? Nobody said nothing personal about Bud. Nobody sat there and brought up how Bud got shot in the head and all that shit. Nobody's bringing that up. Nobody brought up how Bud uh, beat that damn mechanic up for his car. You know what I mean? Nobody bring that shit up. Because we don't care. We try to, we respect Bud Crawford. That's personal stuff. That ain't got nothing to do with boxing. You know what I mean? Just like Errol Spitz and his situation don't got nothing to do with boxing. It don't have nothing. He he went through the situation. He learned from it. He's a better man for it today. Just like Bud Crawford's a better man for it today. You know what I mean? Life is full of lessons. You know what I mean? You learn from it. You grow. You evolve. Keep it moving. That's 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 just how it is. Simply. You know what I'm saying? But. Y'all bud buddies, man, y'all get personal. You know what I mean? Like y'all have adopted the mindset of Bud Crawford. Y'all get personal. You got Keisha Davis, now he talking. You know what I mean? Like, what is all the talking for? I don't understand. What is the talking for? What is that going to do? It's not going to do nothing. You know what I mean? He talking about personal shit. Keep it boxing, bro. Just train, bro. Train and fight. That's all you need to do. You don't need to talk. Train and fight. That's it. Like, I don't get this generation, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and it's even old heads that's older than me that's talking. Like, bro, what are we talking for? We can talk if it's debating boxing, if it's sports. But if it get personal for me, I don't talk when it's personal. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these people making this stuff personal. It's really not even that serious. Y'all advocating and getting personal for a fighter who don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. 
But Bud is getting disrespected. How? Where? Where does he get disrespected at? How's Bud Crawford being disrespected? Where? Where did he get disrespected at? You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure that out. I'm still searching. Like, where was he disrespected at? Who said anything personal about Bud Crawford? Because I know 80% of the people in boxing are picking Bud to be their best. There's a, like 5% of people who is picking Errol Spence to beat Bud Crawford. I'm in that 5%. You know what I mean? I'm in that 5%. And you got a lot of people that don't know. They like, shit, I don't know. So like I keep saying, bro, like at the end of the day, who's disrespecting Bud? Who? Who's disrespecting him? I know on my channel, you ain't hear me disrespect him. All I question is who who did he fight? Who is he fighting? That's all I question. Who is he fighting? Who is he fighting? Who? What top what to what has he fought? That's all I ask. That's all we asking. Y'all don't y'all don't have an answer for that. So then y'all try to sit there and oh well. And, and, and I'm telling you, when I ask these questions, y'all motherfuckers sit there, oh well, Kel Brook. Um, was already damaged goods, and you know, when Bud fought Kell Brook, you know, he um, when Bud fought Kell Brook, he beat him easier than uh, Errol. How did how did uh how did Bud beat uh Kell Brook easier when Bud was losing the fight? Do I gotta reread them scorecards again? Bud was losing to that man. What is you talking about, bro? This is shit I be saying. Bud was losing to Kell Brook. Y'all remember that? Go look at them scorecards against Kell Brook. He was losing. But all that matters is the end result, right? He ended up stopping him in the, that fourth round. And he got his hand raised. But Kell Brook was whooping his ass with one punch. That was a jab. He was jabbing the shit out of Bud. Bud eyes was puffy from the jab. No other punch. Jab. Kell Brook was whooping his ass. <laughs> like, bro, stop playing, bro. This stuff I be talking about. Sean Porter. They say, oh, well, Sean Porter was whooping. I mean, uh, I mean, Bud whooped Sean Porter better than Earl. Okay, then why did his team say he was losing? Why did they tell Bud he was losing? And then, and then he said, I'm losing? They said, yeah, you losing, but stay focused. If he was whooping Sean Porter ass, why did his team tell him he was losing? See, I'm, 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 on, that, I'm on that time today. I got time for it today. Why did his team say he was losing? Answer that question. If he whooping, look, a Bud, Bud Crawford team got no problem telling you Man, you whooping his ass. I didn't hear them say that. They said, you losing. And he said, I'm losing? They said, yeah, stay focused. Listen to me, bud. You want to sit here and tell me? You want to tell me that, oh, yeah, he, he, whooped, he, he, he was whooping Porter. Where? Where was he whooping Porter at? When his team told him he was losing. This is stuff I be talking about, man. This is this is, this is the stuff I be saying. How was he whooping his ass? How did he whoop him better when his team told him he was losing? Apparently, his team wasn't feeling the same way. So I ask you again. How was he whooping Porter when his team told him that he was losing? Because they would have sat there and said, oh, man, that's bullshit. They ain't say that. They ain't say nothing. So like I keep saying, bro, y'all want to sit here, and, and it's cool. Y'all want to sit here and try to use those two fights as a measuring stick. Triangle theories don't work. Styles make fights, okay, at the end of the day. 
I already knew L was going to have a tough time with Sean Porter. Why? Because Sean Porter is an aggressive fighter. Okay? L Spence is an aggressive fighter. Now, L could have beat Sean Porter better. But L said, you know what? I'm going to fight this motherfucker at his own game and I'm going to beat him. Just like he did with Mikey. Like I keep telling y'all, this ain't no fact. These are facts. This shit can be proven. You could go pull up everything I'm saying. This ain't no opinionated shit. Everything I'm saying, you could go pull it up and look and you'll see. This is how I know when y'all bud buddies come in here, y'all don't know what the hell y'all be talking about. Y'all don't know no damn boxing. You don't know what the hell you talking about. All y'all come in here and y'all talk. And the only reason y'all mad is because I'm picking Arrow to beat Bud. But if I sat here and was like, yeah, Bud going to beat Arrow. If I sat here and said everything I was saying, but then I said, I still feel like Bud will beat Arrow. There'll be no problems. The only issue is, is the final result. And y'all mad about the final result. That's it. Y'all know that nigga ain't fought nobody. He know that. His team know that. Everybody know he ain't fought nobody. There's a reason why he not on top rank no more. If he was fighting everybody, he would be satisfied. He would still be a top rank employee or whatever the fuck he fighter. We just keeping it a thousand. He know that if he if he was fighting everybody, if he had this better resume like a lot of y'all be claiming he has, he would still be on top rank. Because he had no problem resigning with them a couple of years ago when he could have went to PBC while all the West West was at. Or even if he didn't want to go to PBC, he could have went and started his own promotional company and represented himself. Bomax, his manager, why didn't he do that? He resigned with Top Rank. A company that wasn't helping him at all. They weren't helping him with shit. They didn't help his star power, nothing. They didn't give him the fights, nothing. So why would you re-sign with that company? And I'm going to conclude with this. Bud Crawford has had no injuries. He's been healthy. Everything. Why has he fought the same amount of times as L. Spence has fought in, the, in, in these past couple years? Why has he been more active? L. Spence was out with an injury. Why hasn't Bud Crawford been more active? If this L. Spence fight happens, Bud been out of the ring a year. L fought earlier this year. Answer those questions. That's all I'm saying, bro. You, But when you sit here, you talk boxing. When you don't tell people what they want to hear, they want to try to ridicule you. They want to try to come for the throne. You can't. Because everything I'm saying can be proven. The only thing that's opinionated is the outcome. In which I said, I feel like El Spence will win. Because based off what I've seen from him, I've seen him in top matchups. And I've seen him live up to the... He ha Basically, he has the backing to support his portfolio. You know what I'm saying? He done fought top competition and came out on top. I ain't seen Bud in those type of situations. You know what I mean? I ain't seen Bud fight a top fighter in a big fight and live up to the high. I haven't seen that. I haven't. They want to bring up Julius Ndongo. And all that shit at 140. Well, he fought <laughs> Julius Sondongo. If you don't mind me asking, how many times Julius Sondongo fought in America prior to fighting Bud Crawford? Don't worry. Wait. Julius Sondongo got his belts from somebody in Europe. Uh, some European fighter. Victor Poster, right? Y'all want to go to 140? Y'all want to use the previous... Let's go to Victor Poster. How many times he fought in America? And what other top fighters did he fought from America? I know he beat that Argentinian guy. I forgot his name. That Danny beat. But who did he beat? Who else has he beaten? Don't worry. Wait.
like I keep telling you, bro, at the end of the day, Bud Crawford is a hell of a fighter. You've heard me say that. You never heard me disrespect his, his skill, nothing. That dude cold, bro. But at the end of the day, we got to keep it a 1,000. And it's crazy that we got to talk like this. We shouldn't even be talking like this. Like, we should be able to just talk boxing. But the y'all bud buddies bring this bring this type of activity out. Cause y'all get to talking and oh hell, who who Errol be Errol ain't be nobody. Kel Brook was, you know, he at 160, he uh he 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 fought Triple G. Who told Kel Brook to go up there and fight Triple G? Y'all tell her half the story. Kel Brook went up to 160 to fight Triple G because he didn't want to fight Errol Spence. Another question I have. Who was calling out Kel Brook? Don't no, worry. Who was calling out Kel Brook around that time? When I ask that question, they don't have answers. Keith Thurman wasn't calling out no Kel Brook. Keith Thurman was considered top well to at that time. Sean Porter wasn't calling out Kel Brook. And Sean Porter lost to Kel Brook. He lost. Kel Brook came to America, whooped Sean Porter ass, and got his belt. I'm just saying, bro. Errol Spence was the only one like I fight Kel Brook. Kel Brook was making excuses. Oh, you know, he, he doesn't interest me. Um, he's the Jeff Light, say. Um, uh, all those other excuses he was making. Until finally he was forced to fight Errol. The dude could have fought Errol before he went up to fight Triple G. He chose to go up there and fight Triple G. That's not Errol's fault. But at the end of the day, Kell Brook was still undefeated at welterweight. He still was a champion at welterweight. Triple G broke Kell Brook's other eye. And another thing, Kell Brook was whooping Triple G ass. It ain't like he went up there and got his ass whooped. He was whooping Triple G ass. Kell Brook is the reason why Canelo finally got the cojones to fight Triple G. We don't want to talk about that. When y'all ready to talk boxing, let me know. Because we can do this. We can, we can talk boxing. You know what I mean? Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. I told y'all. Elspeth is 1A. Terrence Crawford is 1B. If Terrence Crawford get in there and he beat Errol Spence, I will gladly come on here and make a video sending my congratulations to, to Terrence Crawford. It's not personal to me. This is not personal. I'm looking at their skills and I'm like, man, L Spitz to me is a matchup nightmare for Bud. That's my opinion. I've had people come in here and tell me, well, Bud switch and blah, blah, blah. And that's their opinion. I ain't, you ain't see me rebuttal and oh, no. I rebuttal with these Bud buddies because they come out here and when you kill them with facts, that's, they don't got nothing to say. Then they start getting personal because they ain't got nothing to say. They can't come back because they don't know boxing. So I want y'all bud buddies. This for the bud buddies. Y'all cult buddies. I want y'all to understand, bro. Answer my questions. That I pose in this video. Answer all my questions. I need a legitimate, clear, articulate answer to my boxing question. Keep it boxing. I don't want to hear no personal stuff. I want you to tell me. I want you to answer all my questions. And then to conclude, and then I'm going to go in the gym and train. What boxer channel you know that articulates pros and cons for both fighters? My channel is a pro boxing channel. It ain't a pro L channel. It ain't a pro bud channel. I'm pro boxing. But at the end of the day, I'm going to point out the disrespect of a fighter. Y'all disrespecting Errol Spence. Y'all ain't got, y'all, this is the thing. And I, I figured it out. Y'all can't say shit about him as a fighter. So y'all going after his personal shit. I'm telling y'all. 
I'm warning, I'm telling you, when y'all get personal with this dude, he always rise up and prove people wrong. Y'all, y'all should have kept it boxing with him. So all this shit y'all saying is personal shit. And I, I'm just going off of history. They said the Mikey fight, they were saying personal shit. The the uh Ugas fight, personal shit. Danny fight, personal shit. I'm telling you. He's always right to the occasion. Just letting you know. So be don't be don't be don't be shocked. It's one-sided. Boss gone.